Hello, Greg Ernie, Methvin Professionals Real Estate. Welcome to our first market report for 2019. And joining me today is Mike Leonard. Mike, welcome. Thanks, Greg. How are you? Excellent, mate. And uh, mate, I, I'm sure I'm excited to be here, but I know you are. Um, you've just opened up the Hop Hen Brewing establishment here in Lilydale. I know it's been a, um, a lot of work, but uh, pretty exciting. Very exciting, mate. Long journey, uh, a couple of years in the making, but well worth it now. Well, t first of all, what did you do before? Uh, well, up until the end of term three last year, I was a primary school principal. Yep. So up at Mount Dandy Primary School. So. And what uh, led you to, uh, to go down this path? Well, I've been an avid home brewer for a long time. Yep. Um, really enjoyed it. And a couple of years ago, we took a bit of a six month trip around Australia, my family and I. We were coming down the west coast of, uh, of Australia, down in WA, and we visited a lot of different breweries. And yep. uh, I sat there one day and I sort of looked at my wife, Jodie, and said, I think this is what I want to do. Yeah, being the good lady that she is, she's allowed it, and, and here we are today serving beers to the public. And uh, mate, I had the pleasure of coming down last week for your opening, yeah. and um, mate, the vibe here, fantastic. And how many beers you got on tap? Uh, so we've currently got four beers on tap, and, uh, and one coming soon. So we've got, uh, we range from a nice, uh, easy drinking Australian pale ale, um, through to a nice light but uh, fruitful and body full dark mild. So we also have a smoked porter currently fermenting. Beautiful. I must say, the ones that you had on tap, I tried them all, maybe twice, <laughs> and um, I'm looking forward to trying the next one that comes out. But, mate, thanks for having us. We won't hold oh, you're you up. Welcome. I know you're busy. Uh, we'll take a bit of a look around and uh, get on with our uh, real estate update. Sure. Thanks for joining us. See you again. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Without doubt, the theme for 2018 was the market slowing, and some interesting stats came out at the start of January, just summarising uh, how much the market had pulled back. Uh, an interesting figure, so far from the peak to where we are today, Melbourne's median sale price dropped approximately 8.4%. Uh, certainly November, we felt, was probably the slowest uh, month for the year. Um, buyer activity was at an all-time low, and I think that was probably largely, people may have said, well, I'll put buying on hold for this year, and I'll revisit, revisit it for next year. And I think that's probably what's happened. Um, interesting, our first two weeks for January, obviously once we got past the festive season, we had the highest number of buyer inspections over a two week period than any other two week period that we did in 2018. So when the market slows, most people tend to focus on the negative. However, there are some good positives that can come out of a downturning market. First home buyers, I have to say now is your opportunity to get in the market. Homes are probably in some aspects close to $100,000 cheaper than what they were this time last year. So if you're looking to get into a home, the beauty is you're buying a property now a lot less than what you were. Upsizers, a great opportunity as well. Nothing better than to sell your home that's at a lower level and buy a, a, a more expensive home which would have dropped more in dollars than what uh, your property would have. So a great opportunity to make that jump up to the next level property. For downsizers and retirees, a great opportunity. Bearing in mind that if you're on the pension, and naturally this would be subject to, you'd have to check with Centrelink, but if you're buying a property in two names, you won't pay stamp duty up to the value of $660,000. So now, probably 12, 18 months ago, quality townhouses and units you were paying up towards 750, 800,000. Now you're able to get yourself into a great unit or townhouse for around that six to $650,000, and the beauty is, you most likely won't have to pay stamp duty, so that's a massive saving. Developers, great opportunity as well. Development sites are at their lowest square metre rate that they've been, so certainly there's some great deals out there, and now's the time to buy a development site, work through getting your approval for plans and permits, and I reckon by the time you commence building, and then of course go to one sell them, I think the market might be back to more the activity that we have been used to. Investors, a great opportunity also. With prices coming back 10% and rental values seeming in the, on the up, probably around 10% as well, that gap for rent return is much better, so a great opportunity. And finally, I said it for the start for first home buyers, but of course it plays, um, to, uh, plays a role to the whole market, less stamp duty. So as prices come back, you can get yourself in a quality home and you will be paying uh, less stamp duty out there. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's not all doom and gloom. Media is report. Some are saying we've hit the bottom. Some are saying we've still got, still got a little bit of way to go. 
but always remember when you're buying property, if you're owning it on the long term and you have the long term vision, whether it goes up or down, it really doesn't matter. That's my market report. Come and check out this fantastic establishment at Hop End Brewery. They'd love to see you. Mike and Jody, the owners, they're great people and they've got uh, fantastic hospitality and the beers are first class. And just to finish up on Wednesday, the 27th of February, put that into your calendar, 6.30 p.m. at the York on Lilydale. We've got our state of the market information night. And one of the highlights with that, and I'm, I'm honored that he's been able to give up his time to come and speak uh, to our community, is Jeff White. He heads up CoreLogic. He was the CEO prior to that for the Real Estate Institute of Victoria. So come along in here, Jeff. He'll be going over the Melbourne market and we'll be breaking down our office stats and more locally as well. So that's our market report, 2019. Of course, any of our team at our four offices will be available to see you at Murrubark, Croydon, Lilydale and Mount Evelyn. My name's Greg Ernie. Thanks for watching.